Hi everyone, this is a tutorial for kind of a basic Greek goddess. Um, I love dark lips, you guys know that. If you want to change them to neutral, you totally can, but yeah, this is semi galliano inspired As you can see, I have random bits of gold everywhere. I hope I did it right. I don't know if I did it right or not. I tried to do it, but yeah, a little bit of gold right here and everywhere. Um, but yeah, and the hair, the hair was super easy and cheap to do. These are just little pieces that I got at Michael's. Um, the little crown deal that I made underneath, they were just pieces I ripped apart. And I think this consists of three different pieces that were like 59 cents each. So it's pretty easy, simple to do. Um, you can make a toga out of a sheet. This happens to be a dress. But um, yeah, just enjoy the tutorial. First step is always moisturizing. I use Embryolisse, you can use whatever you'd like. And I already went ahead and primed my eye with Urban Decay Primer Potion. Again, use whatever you feel works best for you. Um, now I'm going to go in with this color by Senna Cosmetics. It's called Blend, and it's a very light, kind of a taupey brown. I'm going to use this fluffy brush and just put that right in my crease. So I just wanted a light wash just to give a little bit of a contour. Now I'm going in with this gold powder by Mehron and this kind of flat fluffy brush and I'm just going to pack that all over my eyelid and right on the inner corner. Alright, now on this eye I actually used the gold from this NYX palette. I figured I would try and give some like cheaper brands a chance and have to say I'm not too happy with it it's very clumpy and I don't know I mean I guess just so that both sides are even I'll put a little bit of that on but i um, using a flat brush for that now I'm gonna go in with reflex gold glitter by MAC and using a different flat fluffy brush just going to pat that all over my eyelid. Now I want to buff this gold out a little bit, so I'm going back in with the brush that I used to apply Blend, that light taupe color. And I'm just going to buff that a bit. Then taking the same brush that I used for the Reflex Gold Glitter, I'm just going to dust that off a little bit and go in with Vanilla Pigment by MAC. Put that right on my brow bone. Now because I do want a little bit of shimmer, I'm going to take a bit of the Reflex Gold Glitter, put that right on top. For your brows, you should define them, so I'm going to use, this is Dark Taupe Pencil, it works well for me, uh, by Senna Cosmetics. Now I'm going in with, what number is this, number 10, uh, Aqua, Li Aqua Eyes Liner by Makeup Forever, it's just basic black. I'm going to put that right underneath my upper lashes. Next I'm going in with black liquid liner. I'm using one by Prestige and I'm just going to put a thin line that kind of tapers out just a teeny bit. This is just to give a base for my lashes. Now if you use too much glitter on your eyes, uh, or you have mature eyelids like I do, um, it can be difficult to get a straight line with liquid liner, so if that happens to you, try using shadow instead, black shadow and an angled brush, and that should help a little bit. For lashes I'm using Black V Lashes by Shulamora, and this is what they look like.
Alright, so lashes in place. I'm going to clean up right underneath my eyes so I can get a clean application of foundation. Now before foundation, I'm going to use a little bit of Makeup Forever's HD Primer. This will ensure that my foundation and yours, if you use this product, will last. For foundation, I'm using a little bit of Makeup Forever's HD, and I'm going to mix it with a bit of Face Atelier's Ultra Pro Foundation. This is white, and the color that I need... The Makeup Forever one is basically a little bit too dark. Using a beauty blender sponge, love these things. I got addicted to them, so yeah. Alright, next for my waterline, I'm going to use Gilded White Pencil by MAC. Now I'm using Black Velvet Eyeliner by Senna Cosmetics, and the reason I'm using this is because it's not as dark as Makeup Forever's, and I just kind of want to pull that out, as you can see on this side, just to shade it a bit. So I'm putting that right underneath my lower lashes and just pulling out. Now for mascara, you can use whatever you'd like. I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous Original. It's black. I'm just putting that right underneath my fake lashes so that my own lashes will blend with them. And then a little bit right here. Alright, now for kind of a contour more so than a blush, I'm going in with Urban Decay Lounge and this big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to kind of tap this into my hairline and give myself a slight contour, as I said. Now for lips, I'm using Vino Lip Liner. And the one thing that I already did is I took uh, this gold grease paint by Krylon. It's just gold, and I took my fingertip and I just went like this along the bow of my lip. So I already did that prior, but going in with Vino. Now for lipstick, just to give a bit of moisture, I'm using Makeup Forever's Rouge Artist Lipstick number 49. I have it in a little pot because we used this during Fashion Week. Um, and I'm just going to add a touch of that with my finger. Alright, so we're pretty much done, almost, but I'm going to go in with a little bit of the gold grease paint and a la Galliano style. I'm just going to get a little bit on my fingertips and kind of spread that around randomly. And I'm also going to put it right here, just for some shine. Alright, so there is my Greek goddess look. The hair, the makeup, the outfit. I would probably add a little bit more gold and probably like dust myself down with like shimmer or whatever. And I also would set this with powder. Um, I highly recommend Makeup Forever's HD. But um, I'm actually going to take all of this off and go to work in just about an hour. So I don't want to put on too much. However, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, Please leave a comment below and I will be back with more Halloween tutorials soon. Bye!